Nolajet here at Middendorf's. Good stuff in here, yeah. Welcome to Nolajet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our Louisiana Travel Vlog, we visit Middendorf's, which is one of the best restaurants in Louisiana for traditional Louisiana seafood. And they're also famous for their Oktoberfest celebration with great German food. Middendorf's restaurant is located in Manchac at 30160 US 51 in Acres, Louisiana, which is 42 minutes and 42 miles from the New Orleans French Quarter. And they also have a second location in Slidell, Louisiana. Middendorf's restaurant continues the old Louisiana tradition of offering delicious fried and boiled seafood platters, shrimp, oysters, catfish, po'boys, and other traditional Louisiana food. They also have a burger here that I've never tried, which we will sample in this video. Middendorf's has also become famous for their six weeks of Oktoberfest celebrations that offer authentic German food every Wednesday and Thursday during October and November. They should also be famous for their fantastic desserts here, and you definitely don't want to miss those. Their thin fried catfish is also a huge thing here, so a lot of people love that. I'm not the biggest fan of catfish myself, but I will say the Middendorf's thin fried catfish is the best catfish I've ever eaten. So over the years, they've added some great improvements to the area, and this whole dockside area is a really great spot. I've never had an opportunity to hang out back here before, and I've only previously eaten here in the daytime, and I spent most of my years eating in the older building, and the uh, newer building here, I'm still breaking in and getting used to. So this is a beautiful view, like you're on a tropical beach somewhere, but this is Lake Maurepa here, right next to Lake Pontchartrain. So it's a great little spot. They have some uh, boat side dock area as well there. And uh, let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So they definitely have made this a lot more fancy than the older building, and you've got a lot more space in here. And whoa, so you see, we're gonna transform into Oktoberfest here, and they do quite a nice job of decorating this space. And they've got a really interesting space in here all year round. So there's plenty of great Oktoberfest themed items, and you can always find a special gift uh, pretty easily here. And then tonight, their Oktoberfest food special isn't the one I wanted, unfortunately. But they still have a lot of great things to always check out on their gift shop. They just add more for the Oktoberfest time. They also offer some other items here that are also available year-round. They also have a Fettuccine Frenzy event, so there's always something fun to check out here. So always look at their website just to double check. You can get alligator, gumbo, turtle soup, crabs, thin catfish, and turtle meat here if you want to take it home and try your hand at cooking it. And then they have the menu of all the different things they have for Oktoberfest. Then we have our Middendorf coat of arms with their 1934 founding date. Now let's head back up here to this area on the left if when you walk in. I've actually never uh, eaten in this area for whatever reason. And so when you walk up here, they certainly have more Oktoberfest decorations going on and it's a very festive, fun environment. There's another bar back here I've never been to either, so I need to maybe try to eat here the next time I visit. So they have a big, large dining room, and all the tables back here look like they're for larger parties, and I'm usually with a smaller party, so maybe that's why I've never eaten back there. So when you go to the right, there's this other huge dining area, and they have some smaller tables available on this side, along with a big fake tree. So the fake tree is fascinating and a lot of fun. So as we head back towards their other bar, I always like to glance back at this magical fake tree in here. It's kind of a quirky thing. You can also uh, take your picture in the frame of the Oktoberfest uh, there. And we've got a guy playing accordion, entertaining us. And then right here is their main bar area, and it's a pretty nicely laid out area. And it's got some really comfortable seats and a nice, beautiful wooden bar. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the menu now. So this video will have one visit before Oktoberfest and one during Oktoberfest. We have appetizers with crispy fried onion rings, shrimp roulade, Italian oysters, barbecued oysters, crawfish cakes, stuffed mushrooms, 
fried man shock, alligator bites, crawfish poppers, pill and eat boiled shrimp, salads, iceberg wedge salad, Middendorf's house salad, Caesar shrimp salad, cob salad. Then we have soup with crab gumbo, shrimp gumbo, crab and shrimp gumbo, house made turtle soup. And then we have our sandwiches with a catfish, soft shell crab, shrimp, oyster, hamburger, cheeseburger, boiled chicken breast, and seasonal boiled manchac crabs. Then we have sides of french fries, side of vegetables, spicy new potatoes, potato salad, coleslaw, and then a children's menu. On the next page, we have seafood dinners and their side orders you can get with seafood dinners only with a soft shell crab, a stuffed crab, or frog legs, or a thin fried catfish. So they have a Middendorf special, small or large, with fried thin catfish, fried thick fish, small or large, with a catfish fillet, broiled catfish, one whole fried catfish, fried soft shell crab, large or small, one stuffed crab, or two stuffed crabs, fried shrimp, fried shrimp and thin catfish, fried shrimp and oysters, broiled stuffed shrimp, broiled shrimp with lemon butter, barbecued shrimp, fried oysters, fried oysters and thin catfish, frog legs, fried whole flounder, stuffed broiled whole flounder, broiled whole flounder with lemon butter, broiled salmon filet, seafood platter, fried or boiled, and steaks and chicken. U.S. Choice Grilled Ribeye, 12 ounce, topped with garlic butter, grilled chicken breast and caramelized onion gravy, and half of a fried chicken. Middendorf's has been around for so long it's known as many things. An institution, a historic landmark, a must-have dining experience. To us, it's about family, friends, and the shared love of food. Lewis and Josie Middendorf opened the doors in 1934. Josie used her personal recipes, including Middendorf's legendary house specialty of thin fried catfish. Ask any Dorfer and they'll tell you, just thinking about hot, crispy, thin catfish is enough to make one's tongue tingle, mouth water, and eyes sparkle. Middendorf's has stood the test of time, surviving fire, hurricanes, and an ever-changing world. By dining with us today, you're now part of the Middendorf's legacy. We hope you leave us with good memories, full stomachs, and a hankering to visit us again really soon. Well, I'm going to start out with a turtle soup, and this looks really delicious. I can't wait to dig in. Oh, look at this. It's beautiful. A lot of turtle meat in here. It smells wonderful. Oh, it's got a fantastic taste. I'm really happy. There's really good flavors in here. There's nothing quite like a really good turtle soup, and this is definitely a good version. I've only got one bite left. Oh, I can't believe I'm already done. It was so great. So just like I've destroyed this soup, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about the turtle soup. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. Then we have a fried shrimp po' boy with some crawfish boiled potatoes. Oh yeah, let's take a little taste of the shrimp here. They look great, smell great, and they do taste great. Let's grab one of these potatoes. Ooh, well, crab oil potato always makes me happy, usually. So let's see. Oh, there's not too much crab oil flavor. I could like it a little spicier. Now I've got the burger. I've never had the burger here. I'm curious how it's going to be. It looks decent. So um, it's not the thickest piece of meat, but it's uh, certainly looking like it's kind of juicy. So let's see how the flavor is. Okay, there's the first bite. And uh, okay, it tastes okay. It's a um, decent burger, definitely it's all right. So I have to say though, it's really hard to get a burger here because the seafood is so delicious here. <laughs> it would be really hard for me to ever get a burger here on a regular basis. So I'm um, glad I finally have tried it and I'm glad that I am uh, having a good experience with the burger. It's a decent burger. I've definitely had better burgers. I've had a lot worse burgers, so it's definitely a good burger. It's just, um, I don't think I'd get it again though, because the seafood here is so great, I just can't see myself doing this again, because it's just a burger, and the seafood's so much better to me. Now these french fries look pretty nice, got a nice crunch, they're fried perfectly, so crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside, the way a fry should be. So, perfectly good french fries, and a good burger. So, just like I destroyed the burger and fries, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this burger. And of course, now we have to decide on the most important thing of what to get for dessert. They have great desserts here. Look at this stuff. They have a house-made banana bread pudding, a Pinocchio ice, a house-made chocolate lava cake with vanilla ice cream, a whatever floats your boat with a Barks ice cream float, a raising a ruckus with Elmer's gold brick toppings, a good old-fashioned banana split, red velvet cheesecake, 
On the next page, we have house-made German chocolate cake with vanilla ice cream, white chocolate bourbon pecan pie, a little something bad, a key lime pie, small ice cream cake, and we have ice cream, two scoops, and large ice cream cake. I had to get the chocolate lava cake with vanilla ice cream, and whoa, this looks great. I can't wait to eat this. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, it is really beautiful. There's a wonderful chocolatey aroma coming up, and that strawberry right there is adding another little layer of flavor and smell. Oh, yes. This is super chocolatey delicious, and let's mix it with a little of the ice cream here and see how this goes. Oh, mmm, this is really good ice cream. So the chocolate and the ice cream are combining very well together. This is a really fantastic chocolate lava cake, and the ice cream and whipped cream are all going very well to complement it. I am thoroughly enjoying this dessert. This is quite enjoyable, and uh, if you're ever here, you might want to get this. This is really delicious. I am certainly having a wonderful time enjoying each and every bite of this, and I'm kind of sad it's such a small little lava cake. I could uh, probably eat about three or four of these things. Ooh, it's so nice. This is some wonderful double chocolatey flavor. There's the cake part and then the interior ooey gooey part that's the lava that really are great together. And then finally my last bite. And just like I've destroyed this dessert, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know what you thought about this great dessert. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the total for this bill is $50.17 before tip. Now we're going to go to the Oktoberfest celebration night and we're sitting at the bar and this is the final weekend. I was finally able to make it. So of course I got to start off with a beer because hey, you always need to have a little beer to kick off your Oktoberfest fun. I've been working some long crazy hours with the Hurricane Ida damage assessments and I really need this beer. Roast. So they had a decent selection of German beers and bottles, no I mas, but hey, at this point I'm just glad to get a beer. Now they uh, had quite a good selection of different food items throughout the whole period they did the Oktoberfest celebration. I was really hoping to get the stuffed veal shoulder, but they only had it October 20th and 21st when I was deep in the midst of all the Hurricane Ida damage work. So sadly I missed it, but maybe next year they'll have it again and I can come back and try it next year. Comment below if you think I should come back and try it. So I decided to start out with a shrimp and crab gumbo since I couldn't get my veal dish, but hey, this is still pretty good too. It's a big chunk of crab in here, and then there's some shrimp in there as well. So there's some nice size uh, shrimp, and a uh, good piece of crab always makes for some good eating. And it's a great little gumbo. It's got plenty of okra in there, and uh, it's got a decent amount of rice, but not too much rice. So it's a good balance overall, and this is a good gumbo, and this is uh, one of the things I often get. It's either this or the turtle soup most of the time. So they have uh, really good soups in here, so just like I've destroyed this gumbo, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this crab and shrimp gumbo. And next up, I got a big fried seafood platter of uh, fried oysters and fried shrimp. Ooh, look at all this stuff. It has been so long since I've had a fried oyster. Most of the places in New Orleans have been out because oysters got killed off during the hurricane in the area, so they've been hard to come by. And oh, look at this shrimp. Really delicious. What fantastic fried seafood they have here. Now, do you know what this is? Usually they're round, but this is a hush puppy, which is just some fried cornmeal. Sometimes they spice it up, sometimes not. Some people had corn and jalapenos, but this is a plain basic one. Not much going on with it, but it's a decent hush puppy. Going to give it a little rumelade sauce dip to add a little extra kick to it. And uh, it's a decent thing if you've never tried it. It's certainly an interesting, unique item to have a little bit of basically fried cornbread. So it's a nice little side item to have with a seafood dinner. 
Next up, we're gonna try some of this wonderful looking coleslaw. And they put a little dill pickle on there, so mmm, I do love that combination. This is a mayonnaise blend coleslaw. I'd rather have a little vinegar tart style coleslaw, but it's a decent coleslaw. And of course, the french fries were good last time, and they're still good like they were when I ate the burger. So you can always enjoy the fries here. And oh no, I've killed almost everything by my last fry trip. Ooh. And of course, just like the first one, it's delicious to the last bite. So just like I've destroyed the seafood, destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this meal, and while you're down there, tell me if you like shrimp or oysters better. Next up, I had to get the Black Forest Cake, and oh, it's beautiful looking. Oh my goodness, this is an amazing looking cake. Oh, it has such a strong chocolatey aroma, and then this amazing strawberry sauce that's all around it and just all of this wonderful icing and whipped cream and just oh look at these chunks of chocolate oh my goodness oh it has an amazing flavor oh the combination of the strawberry and chocolate and all of these wonderful flavors of the cake and the icing really are going together fantastically. This is one of the best cakes I think I've ever eaten in my life, anywhere, anytime. You definitely want to get the Black Forest cake. So this was on the Oktoberfest menu, and oh, I've completely destroyed it. So just like I've destroyed this cake, destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about the Black Forest cake. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because I do work for tips and I appreciate any assistance with that. So the total for this bill was $44.08, and that's before tip and with some beers in there. So thanks so much to everybody at Middendorf's for so many years of great food, and I look forward to the Oktoberfest next year and just regular times eating it here. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagen channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you would so kindly share this video with any of your friends or contacts would enjoy it, as that really helps us with the YouTube algorithm and growing our audience. So tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.